Okay, are we working? Have we got sound? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to fix that a little bit. There we go. There we go. Great, now you can all see me. Um, <laughs> hello. How is everyone today? I've got a little bit of a schedule written down. You can't see it because we love the live streaming platform, laptop. I am going to play some violin and wait for some people. So yeah, um, and I'm also going to turn my phone off because that's professional. <laughs> um, yeah, so professional YouTuber people. Totally not just getting this ready. There we go. So I got an email today. Well, it was forwarded from my dad, actually. That's the thing. Um, I would like to read you this email that I got from some people that I actually think I know. But um, when I was very, 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 very little, like way down here, kind of little, I actually went places with my life. I was at um, with Sister Emma in Norwich back when we were in Harmony Norwich. I actually went to the Queen Elizabeth Hall and met Julian Lloyd Webber a couple times, actually, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, yeah, so my dad sent them an email telling them about my trip around the UK and kind of, you know, the fact that I'm going to be visiting all the orchestras and it'll be super fun. And they responded. And I will read you the email response because it's very, very cool. So, dear Phil, it's my dad's name. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. Thank you for the email that you sent to Julian Lloyd Webber and for telling us about the fantastic venture that Janae is embarking on. I watched her YouTube channel and she is clearly an amazing person. My heart, I can't do this right now. <laughs> we very much look forward to hearing of her progress on this venture and please do keep in touch with me to keep us updated. Best wishes, Systema England. So that, hang on, let me just, there we go. So that was... The response that my dad got from um, a lady at Systema England that I know. I'm going to keep names anonymous other than Julian Lloyd Webber because I know him. I know a lot of famous people. They probably don't remember me. I also know one famous person who does remember me. <laughs> and it's embarrassing that they remember me. But yeah, um, that's... Um, Jose from the Vagabond and if you know about said band, the Vagabond, you'll know that they are very cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> and I may or may not have said some stupid stuff when I was like 15. <laughs> but yeah, they're cool. Um, hang on, my phone's being weird. Uh, there we go. Hopefully this is working. Yes, it's working. Okay. I've got all the technical stuff happening on my phone. Hopefully this is working. Yes, it's working. Okay. I've got all the technical stuff happening on my phone. And I'm recording on my laptop, but tinkering on my phone. <laughs> Professional YouTuber. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought the... In honour of having said email response, I will play a few pieces from my childhood, well, a couple pieces that I've prepared from my childhood, because why not? So, one of the first pieces I ever learned was um, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. You know how it goes.
shorter just so I don't have to pray for as long because it makes me nervous and when I'm nervous I rub my nose I don't know why that is I I have no idea <laughs> but yeah uh next thing on the list so I have done Beethoven's Night talked a little bit about Sistema um what else do I have to do I have got some other stuff to play one more piece from my childhood I never remember what this piece is actually called but I love it and I've made it more folky and fun which is the main part so yeah uh... <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> Still nervous when I play violin on camera. I don't know why. I don't know why. I should be used to it by now, but it's making my nose itch. All these nerves. Um, but yeah, so that... I never remember what that piece is called. I hate myself for not remembering it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love that piece. It's so much fun to play. And it was my first introduction to hooked bowing. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, It's just a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> but yeah. Um, other stuff I need to talk about. Still got the book. Um, yeah, it's making my nose itch. All right, uh, other stuff to talk about. I have got on here Systema History. So, yeah, that um, email from one of the Systema England associates, um, that was a lot to, like, mentally process, like, an hour before this stream happened. So that was fun. Um, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Um, and also my trip that's a thing i wanted to talk about so we'll be back to the music in a bit but my trip um basically i was planning to leave on march 29th well i was planning to leave on like march 25th at the latest kind of can't do that it's illegal at the moment we love the uk we love the government I'm not allowed to swear. This is YouTube. Um, but the latest, well, the earliest I can leave is March 29th. So I was planning to leave then. Then I realised that nothing would be open on March 29th and I wouldn't be able to get, like, I wouldn't be able to get food. I would barely be able to get, like, you know, anything decent to actually, what's the word? Drink. That's the word. I swear I'm it's like English is the only language I know and yet it's the worst language for me to speak. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am thinking of maybe leaving about April, like mid-April when things open up again. Also, I have things that I still need to get for the trip. So moving a bit further back in the book... Um, still need to get a compass, still need to download the um, complete OS maps because I've found a few of them on PDFs online, which is great, but also awkward. Um, first aid kit, that's one thing I do need to get. Probably going to um, custom make one just, you know, with some plasters, bandages, um decent pair of scissors actually no i can get a decent pair of scissors um other things oh yeah hiking poles right 
if you didn't know this about me, I am very like do it yourself kind of. I like doing things myself, you know. And so a while ago, when I actually first moved to my dad's, we went on walks around the UEA. He picked up this beauty. It is a stick. It is a stick and it is gorgeous and I love it. So I'm thinking, where is it? Focus. There we go. I'm thinking if I put some duct tape around the top here and then maybe um, something duct tape-esque but not really duct tape around here so it doesn't, you know, wither away when I'm holding it. I think I could turn that into a pretty decent hiking pole. I mean, like, in the other hand, I'm going to have my violin, hiking pole, backpack, you know. Um, so, yeah, that is kind of the plan with hiking poles. I like the idea of making things myself. If you couldn't tell, you know, this was made by my nan. She homemade it. She knitted it for me. And it's brilliant. I love it. Um, this skirt I made myself out of a bed sheet because that's what I do. I buy bed sheets and then make clothes out of them. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan with hiking poles. I'm probably going to make my own because that's what I do. Um, other things on the list. Multi-tool. I still haven't bought one. I'm very partial to the Victorinox climber. That one has a lot of things that I might need on it. And I think it would just be awesome. Um, other things I need, extra clothes layers, secure way to store money. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I think I could actually... I mean, I could leave tomorrow if I wanted to. It would be difficult, you know. I'd still have stuff that I would need. But at the end of the day, like, I could leave tomorrow if I had to and just guesstimate where I'm going, basically. Because, I mean, you know, you can find north with just a um, leaf and a paper... Not paper clip. A leaf and a pin, if you know how, which I was taught this in like year four in primary school when we were doing orienteering and I don't remember it, but I'm sure I could Google it, you know? Um, all right. So back to the plan for the live stream. Um, other songs that I can play on my violin give you guys some more music because you don't want to hear me talking you, you just want the violin so um let's do an oldie but a goodie swallowtail jig nailed that it doesn't want to yeah Oh, that's why. I don't know if you can see yeah. Don't know if you can see this, but the grips come off. Hang on, everything that can go well wrong will go wrong. Therefore, she's changing bows. Yes, I just keep spare bows in my bedroom. What do you take me for? Someone who's not prepared for everything? Have I got Rosin on this? That is a question. I have. Oh, boy. Let's give this a go. I mean, I kind of failed it, but oh well. Other things I can actually play that aren't going to be too fast for me this late in the afternoon. I kind of slow down at three o'clock, so it's kind of a bad idea doing live streams at three. My nose is itchy. Nah. But yeah, um, 
I believe I will play Drunken Sailor, because why not? So... <laughs> I love things in E minor. Just E minor chords in general. Pretty chord. Very pretty. Um, other things I can talk about. My compositions. That's something I can talk about easily. Let's put this bow behind us and put this one in front of us. Right, so talking a little bit more. Um, <laughs> right, so I've been composing a lot of music. You've probably seen them on my channel. Um, and yeah, a lot of it I'm hoping to use in the future. Oh, wait, this is what I wanted to talk about. This is why I wrote this down. I forgot to write it actually down. Um, so if you don't look in my description box every five minutes, which honestly, why would you? You know, it's just that bit of YouTube that no one pays attention to, including me. I understand. I watch YouTube on a near daily basis. But if you look in the description box, you'll see that I have links to my Patreon, my blog, and another thing I can't remember. Blog, Patreon. Eh. You guys know what I'm on about. You'll see all my links, basically. And on my Patreon, it's basically a donation service where you can pay a certain amount every month to get exclusive content that you won't find anywhere else on the internet. I'm probably going to try and shorten the videos. Um, I should probably do a whole video dedicated to this topic, but I'm going to try and shorten the videos that I do on this channel normally and do longer more highly edited much like bulkier videos if you know what I mean on my patreon and you know if you want to donate a little there that'd be great that'd be helping me out my trip um I don't have much on there right now because I'm still setting everything up for just before I leave but um in terms of what I'm planning for this channel I was hoping to make the videos shorter, easier to make while I'm... And B, it'll also help me just kind of... It'll help me get started with adulting, if that makes sense. It's, it's weird. It's like, I don't know how to be an adult. No one ever taught me this. And so now I'm having to figure it out for myself. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the mini plan for this channel i'm still working out the details i'm not really sure but yeah if you want have a look in the links below because there's some funny stuff there mainly because i make it and i try to be serious and then i realize oh god that's cringe but yeah that's basically my life really <laughs> me trying to make something serious also me god that's cringe but yeah um are the songs i can play uh, done, Skyboat. I know what I can do. Do I? Yes, I do. Okay. So, um, I remember when I was really little, I learned a piece called Skyboat Song, and we played that for a bunch of elderly people, and I recently learned that Sky is actually a place in Scotland, and it tells the story of um, Bonnie Prince Charlie. That's the one. And, yeah, so I now have a connection to the song Skyboat Song, which makes me feel a little bit closer to it, you know? So after learning the history of the piece, let's play it, because it's fun. <laughs>
pretty. I like that. Um, what else do we have on the list? The book, the list on, the list in the book, okay. <laughs> um, oh, great sleeves. I love that piece. Let us give it a go. <laughs> love that. I just love making things fun and pretty and cute and adorable because why not? Um, other than Ollie, but I'm getting there and I think that this trip will kind of help me figure some things out in my own head. You know, I'm one of those people who plans 50 years into the future and then, you know, works out the little mini tiny details as I go along. But this this plan kind of I don't know why but it just kind of wiggled its way in there and was like okay we're going to give you this arc in your story of life and we're not going to tell you why but you're going to have to go through it and I feel like it's something I have to do if that makes sense like I have to do it like I don't have a choice I just have to do it otherwise it's like it's like playing a video game and you don't know why you have to talk to a certain character, but you have to do it if you want to progress the game. You know, I feel like this has happened. A ton of stuff happened. I got thrown out of my house, realized that everything I thought I knew was a lie. <laughs> and I'm now having to deal with that. You know, it's a, it's a lot of trauma that I'm having to work through in my own head. And I feel like this journey this year will give me kind of the mental clarity to move on to my bigger goals. So it's serving no, no like purpose in the plot whatsoever towards my end goal of getting that house in the suite. And it'll give me a whole new set of like experiences that I can draw on to learn something for myself, like learn life lessons for myself. And I feel like that's why it's so important that I go on this trip because I've got a lot of unresolved stuff going on up here. And right now I'm not in the right headspace or physical space to deal with that. And I feel like I feel like this trip will give me that space, that distance to kind of bring clarity. So that was a bit heavy. <laughs> um, that was a bit of a heavy topic. Let's end it on a lighter note. But I, yeah, but just going back to that, I hope you understand why I have to go on this trip. It's not a I want to go on this trip. It's I have to at this point. I have to. <sighs> but on a lighter note, let's end it off with some violin, some fun some epic times for another two minutes just to end off this trip. Well, one and a half minutes, but yeah. Doesn't have to be exactly 30 minutes, but let's hope. <laughs> getting confused on bowing what's new scooby my worst habit getting stuck on bowing getting stuck on bowing 
are the songs that I can play and not get copyright struck. Uh, how about one of my own? <laughs> just like to say thanks everyone for watching thanks for subscribing liking commenting and sharing on this video and i just want to say thank you for everything basically <laughs> thank you for everything guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video bye